So some of you may be wondering what a song circle is, or maybe uh, you might have heard the term jam circle. Uh, it doesn't matter, anything that involves the, the musical term and circle, it's probably talking about the same thing. Now a song circle is a little bit different than a sing-along. Uh, for sing-along, usually what happens these days is somebody projects up uh, words and music on the, on the wall and everybody uh, plays and sings along with that. Uh, that's a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, the person that is leading that gets to pick the songs and uh, usually is the main person that you can hear uh, because oftentimes they're, uh, they have a microphone and uh, their ukulele is amplified. So a song circle, uh, that term probably originated uh, to describe what happens when a lot of people uh, get together or camping. Uh, they all gather around a campfire or, or uh, gather on a front porch or something, get in a circle and uh, each one takes a turn playing a song. Now you'll find this a lot in bluegrass groups. Uh, a bunch of people get together and each one will take a turn picking a song. And if you don't know the song, you just kind of follow along. Usually you uh, you look at the, the chords the person's playing and uh, you just play the same chords that they're playing. You may not know the song, you may not know the words. That's okay. You're just there to play along. They're the one that's leading the song. And, uh, and then when that person's done, it just moves to the use counterclockwise or whatever, uh, moves to the next person in the circle, uh, and then they pick a song and they lead it. Now, a modern song circle or, or jam circle, you might have somebody that uh, projects the songs on the wall, just like on a sing-along, um, but then uh, each person just picks the song and they, uh, they pop it up and can project it up there. That way, everybody knows the words, everybody knows the chords that are coming next, uh, and it's a, it's a much better experience, I think, than just following along. Although I will tell you, following along in a classic bluegrass or, or song circle uh, will give you a lot of really good musical experience with, uh, with anticipating chords. It's good for ear training, uh, hearing what chord's gonna come next. Um, and also uh, can be very good for transposing chords because if somebody's using a capo and you don't have one, uh, you have to do that chord uh, transposition in your head. So uh, playing in a song circle where you don't know the song, can't follow the words, can't follow the chords, uh, can be very valuable too. Now, one other thing that's cool about song circles is even if somebody's playing a song that you already know or you think you know, lots of times that person might have different uh, tips or tricks for playing that song. Or, or might have a different lick or something that you can pick up uh, from that person. So uh, it's a really good opportunity to learn uh, different techniques and different ways that uh, another person might do the exact same song that you do. Uh, they might do a little bit better, or maybe you can teach them a trick or two. Uh, and it's just a good way to get better at your musicianship and, uh, and uh, quite frankly, your fellowship. So I hope that kind of answers your questions about what a song circle is. Again, a group of people get together. Each one takes a turn playing the song. Everybody else follows along.